Hey guys, Hattie the Creator here, creating something new to share with you. I recently painted and drew up this guy using some brush pens and some watercolors. If you've been paying attention, you've seen them already. I know at least 149 of you have been paying attention. You know who you are and thank you. So I posted this guy on my community feed and I asked if you'd be interested in seeing the process. Some of you said yes, so I'm gonna take him and draw him up a friend. Do a drawing in a similar style I did this guy and show my process and kind of explain what I'm doing as I go. But before I get into that, I asked the community in the same post to name this guy and to tell me something about him. What does he look like to you? Like a Hank or Sebastian? Maybe a Bob? And I apologize, I'm not all the way better yet. I'm still kind of sick and a little bit congested. So if I sound gross or make a weird noise, I'm sorry. I can't help my sickness, but I can still provide quality content for you. Some of your comments were really fun and funny, so I'm gonna do a little something with them. And I need some help judging. So I said I would give a sticker to the best comment on this post. Whoever names him the best and gives me the funnest fact about him. So I've narrowed it down to five finalists, but before we get to those, I want to read off some of the other ones because there was a lot of gems in there. So here are the honorable mentions. The first one is by Ryan Wayne. His name is Marcus, a spin-off from the word mucus. And my actual first given name is Marcus, and I resent that a little bit. Just kidding, I really don't. Didn't hurt my feelings at all, but I did get called mucus a few times in kindergarten. The next one is by Kinu Ki Kitsu Nineko, I think. Sorry if I ruined that, but her comment is, his name is Blurg, and he's planning to become the king over his kind. So here we have King Blurg. Next up is Ferguson by Mary Lentz Guildwell. Her comment says his name is Ferguson and he loves fried pickles, which is a fun fact. And you know I had to sneak in some little nipples here. When opportunity calls. Next up is a comment by Danny Thur Thurkoff. Feyurkoff, I think. Her comment is, his name is Sploosh, but don't get between him and his pizza. Sploosh, the pizza man. Next up, we have a comment by SK. His comment, his name is Stuart, and his parents called him that because they thought he looked like P. Stew. Very fitting, so here's a baby Stuart, all chubby with big old chubby arms, looking like P. Stew. And then we have this gem of a comment by Ford Rasmussen. The comment, it's Geoff. He live in a swamp and eats turtles, biting off their shells with his large teeth. This boy do have some big old teeth, and he probably talk like he from Mississippi or Alabama. Alabama. Next up is a comment by 304 Banana. The comment, Grimace. He's adverse to anything cringy. Next up, a comment by Rieger397. The comment, Morgus, the putrid well known for his disgusting crimes and his big wet kisses. In this drawing, his crimes finally caught up with him. This is Mugshot. My friend Dr. Roque Art says his name should be called Jabba the Smurf Eater. The name speaks for himself. I haven't seen a Smurf in ages. I think it looks something like this. And the last honorable mention is by the very first commenter on this post, Akuri. His comment is, this is Jack, and Jack likes to lick Cheetos. This is his face as he waits for a human to drop a Cheeto into the water. So a lot of those were really fun, quirky little things and backstories for this character. So I'm gonna show you the five finalists and then a poll will pop down and I am asking you for your help to help me judge these. In one week's time from today, I will take whatever one has the most votes and contact that person and that person will be getting the sticker. And I thought it was only fair that since they named him, they should probably get the original artwork of him too because it's practically their character. So help me vote for the winner's story. And without further ado, here are the five finalists. This one's a tearjerker by worst username ever, TM, trademark. The comment is, his name is Shrubby. He's often misunderstood for his looks. He's very kind and caring on the inside. He loves to play with children, but has to live far away in a forest because humans get scared when they see him. He guides children lost in the forest back to their home, and he loves children who don't get scared from his appearance. I thought that one was very clever and fun to illustrate. Next up, this one is from Jawoon Wito. Jawoon Wito. His name is Fungus, and he got like this because a deadly fungus was spreading through his town. But he somehow survived the fungus and began living together with it as the monster fungus. Next is a comment by Caitlin Forelli that made me laugh. She writes, This guy's name is Hattie and he uses a beautifying filter when recording his YouTube videos. 
Gee, thanks. He's really me. It's really a self-portrait, I swear. The next finalist is a comment by Josie W. Her comment is, This is Joseph's slime body. Joseph enjoys long walks in the park and intelligent conversation. All Joseph wants is someone to share picnics with in the park. And last but not least, the final finalist is by Toby. His comment, his name is Doug. He's a good guy, has a bit of a spitting problem though, and a hard worker. He works a normal office job, but dreams of being an actor. He's practiced and applied for so many roles, but people keep laying him off because he's either too scary or not scary enough. Who would have thought you guys were such good writers? Some of this stuff is gold. So which name and facts and backstory do you feel fits this guy the best? In one week's time from today, that person is going to receive a sticker and also this original artwork. I'll stick it in an envelope with some cardboard or something to keep it straight and I will ship it out to whoever gets the most votes. If there's a tie, I'm just gonna rip it in half. So those stories were fun and all, but now let's get into the meat of this video and jump into the drawing process and make this guy a friend. I think it's about time he had a buddy. Really quick before we get started, I'm gonna show you a couple of the pens I used in this drawing. The only reason I'm showing them to you is because I really like drawing with them and they are a lot of fun. So if you think that this looks like a fun process that you might enjoy, I suggest you pick these up. I don't get anything for it, but I just love seeing everybody else get creative and use their abilities and learn new skills. That's what this channel is all about. Motivation, collaboration, and you know, keep on learning all that. So this first one is the Pentel Arts Pocket Brush Pen. It's a medium size, but I think that's the only size it comes in. You can do really thick lines and really thin lines. It gives you a lot of control. You can fill in areas really fast and it takes ink cartridges that you have to buy separately. It comes with two and just a little single pack. I really love this pen. I got it recently and I've been having a lot of fun with it. The next one is a Tombow calligraphy pen. It's a little brush pen, but the brush is a lot smaller than the other one. So I like this one because it gives me more control on the smaller, finer details. So I love to take this one and refine things after I go in loosely with the bigger brush pen. So jumping right into the artwork, I rigged up some kind of ghetto tripod to get some <laughs> overhead footage. Hopefully the tripod legs aren't distracting in this video but that's the best I got so far so jumping into this I take the bigger brush pen and I put in some loose lines and I just kind of loosely define the shape and form of this character and when I did the first guy the one that this whole video has been about I did a lot looser lines and I didn't do as many lines I didn't put as much ink on the paper so for this guy I put a lot more ink on the paper and I feel like part of the reason why is because I was a little nervous being on camera for the first time I don't know why it just kind of felt a little nerve-wracking and I felt like I had to do things quicker and I was in a hurry and I shouldn't have been. Hopefully I can get a little bit more relaxed doing these traditional art pieces on camera and not feel like I need to be rushed because I had a lot of fun doing it and I really forgot how much I love traditional art. Playing with these brush pens in this watercolor set was a lot of fun and I hope to do more videos like this. So I was happy with the progress with the first brush pen and now I'm going in with the smaller one and refining details and just doing more little details, putting in some definition around his teeth and his gums and and putting in some little cross hatching and little dashes and defining some of these wrinkles in his head. Right now he's kind of looking like a hammerhead shark type character, but I want him to be more alien-ish. That wasn't really what I was going for, but I didn't really know what I was going for. I was just kind of freestyling something. So I like the path it's on now. It's got these nostrils up at the top of his head. I'm grabbing the Sharpie right now, primarily to thicken the outlines and kind of make them pop out a little bit more. I use the Sharpie for this. I don't want to waste the black ink in my brush pens because this brush pen specifically, you just throw it away when it's out of ink. You can't can't refill it you just buy more they're pretty cheap so it's not that big a deal I just use a sharpie whenever I can to fill in some of these areas and do these thick lines because I have a bunch of sharpies and they're pretty cheap and easy to come by now I know it goes without saying that this is sped up quite a bit but I did time myself so it took me about 18 minutes to do the inking in the line art of this guy and then it took me about 18 more minutes to color him it was kind of pretty close but I didn't even mean to do that just I recorded the video in two segments and they were both 18 and change so kind of funny Adding a few teeth to the bottom of his jaw here so his lower mouth has some teeth as well to chew up whatever goodies he throws into that big old nasty mouth of his. One of the reasons why I did the first drawing off video was because I wasn't sure if the inks were going to run with the watercolor. Sometimes you use black pens and different inking pens and you put water on them and they just start running and fading and making the drawing look horrible. So 
I wanted to test that first and I was happy to find out that none of these pins I used had any kind of running at all whatsoever. So when I touched them with watercolor they just stayed black and solid and looked awesome. So at this point I finished the line art I'm happy with the details and how it all looks so now I'm ready to jump in with these watercolors. So this watercolor set I got I just bought it off Amazon for less than 20 bucks. I think it was 17 and change. It has a bunch of palettes of different colors and you get this little brush pen you put some water in the tube of it and you don't have to go dipping water and you just could focus straight on coloring your drawing. The colors I'm using for this guy are a bluish gray and some browns. I wanted the browns to kind of darken up some of the shadowy areas. I actually didn't know it was brown when I first started using it because it was really dark in the container. I thought it was more of a blue, like a dark blue, but it ended up being brown. You can mix colors and blend colors really easy with watercolors. I really love watercolors, but again, I was feeling rushed for whatever reason just being recorded on this one and I ended up rushing some of the colors and not doing a very good job. I wish I'd just taken my time and done it better because you know with videoing this stuff you could always just speed it up however fast you want it to be and it's not a big deal so chill out Hattie what's your problem what's your hurry boy and now I'm pulling in some warmer colors in his lips and in his mouth above his mouth here this upper lip whatever this is if it's his upper lip his upper lip is literally half of his face just bringing in some warmth here to show some blood circulating in his lip trying to make it look a little bit more organic some warmer blues one thing worth noting is this watercolor set I've used for a few different drawings now and look at it. It looks brand new and I barely touched the paint inside of it. I'm just dabbing in the corners and just getting a little bit and you really can't even tell I've been using it. So I really think that this set is going to last a long time and go a long way which is really exciting. Another thing to note is that I am just using regular white printer paper. I'm not using watercolor paper. So my paper is getting a little bit distorted. Nothing too bad, but it does distort a bit. The good thing about this pen is you don't put down crazy amounts of water. It's a little harder to do like a big wash area, but I'm trying not to put tons of water on the paper because I don't want the paper to wrinkle up too entirely. And there we have it. Just like that, this guy has a friend. Do I fit in with these guys? Which one's the prettiest? Probably this guy right here, right? Now there's two buddies. I used this one pin for the whole drawing and I barely used any water. The water, this is all filled with water and it's only down to here after doing both of these. So it's pretty awesome. You don't have to dip and dip and dip and dip and mess with water in a cup at all and make it all murky and have to go wash it out. It's just this one pin and it's really, really pretty convenient. I've never owned a Copic marker, but after using this, I don't know if I ever need to. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this guy, so I probably will do a lot more watercolor in the near future because it's just what I'm into right now. I'll put unaffiliated links in the description down below, so if you want to buy one of these, you can check them out. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video. Just a reminder, I started a Discord called We The Creators. It's not my Discord, it's our Discord. It's a collective community of creatives where we can collaborate with one another, we can help motivate one another keep each other going and to promote learning which is the goal of this channel and also the goal of the discord so if that sounds fun to you go ahead and join it was actually a lot of fun collaborating with you just through the comments and creating those stories for this guy I had a lot of fun illustrating those and drawing those up really quick please continue to interact with me in my posts I have a lot of fun interacting with you and collaborating with you and let's keep on creating together remember we are all creators so let's create and this is Hattie the creator and I will catch you on the next video Take my hat off. Just kidding.